Hey guys, so far 4.5k people have subscribed to my channel. If you like my content, then you too hit on the subscribe icon and if you don't, then also do it anyway. Thanks for watching. Hello students, welcome back. I am Jasneet Kaur. As you know, in the last two parts of cognitive development, we have discussed initial two stages which were sensory motor stage and pre-operational stage. Link of both the videos are mentioned in the description box below. You can click on it and check out. So in today's video, we will discuss rest of the two stages which are concrete operational stage and formal operational stage. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, before starting concrete operational, let's understand its meaning at first. Concrete means something which is physical and operational means logical. So we can say that children start using logical thinking during this phase. Basically, this stage is transition stage between earlier two stages of cognitive development and the fourth stage. This stage is between 7 to 11 years of age and this span is known as middle childhood. Piaget believed concrete stage as a turning point in child's cognitive development. Because from this stage onwards, child begins to use logical thinking. How? This we will understand further. So stay tuned. Now talking about various characteristics of this stage. Like if you remember, we have studied different characteristics of uh, pre-operational stage as well as of sensory motor stage, right? So similarly, we will understand basic characteristics of concrete operational stage in the next slides. Starting with classification. Classification is all about studying child's ability to classify objects and put them together on the basis of their color, shape, size, etc. It also includes ability to divide objects into groups or into subgroups. Now look at the example. By now, child already knows that flower and animals belong to different groups. But now, child will also understand that there are subclasses with groups. Like, flowers can be of different colors like yellow, red, green, purple. Similarly, animals can also be of different categories who can fly or who can swim. Moving on to conservation. It is the understanding that something stays the same in quantity even though its appearance changes. I repeat, it is the understanding that something stays the same in quantity even though its appearance changes. Now you must remember in the pre-operational stage, which is second stage, child lacks this understanding. Earlier child used to believe bigger the object, more the quantity it will have. We have discussed examples of glass and beaker. Okay, if you want to revise this concept, you can go back to the previous video and take a look. All right. So coming back to this concrete operational, as the logical thinking develops, the child knows that redistributing materials does not affect its mass, number, volume or length. Most children aged 7 could answer this correctly. Alright, so other examples of this could be noticing yourself that every time you are around a cat, you have itchy eyes, runny nose and a swollen throat. What child will understand by this? That he or she might be allergic to cats. Alright. Let's move on to the next characteristics, which is decentration. It is all about concentrating on multiple factors of an object at the same time. For example, while writing, noticing color of the pencil, its grip, its texture while writing, etc. 
Other example can be while choosing between two lollipops, child might choose his favorite flavor even though other is of same size and color. Moving on to the next one, by concrete operational stage, child starts understanding that actions can be reversed. Like water can be frozen and again can be thawed to become liquid. In mathematics too, children start showing good response by understanding basic calculations at this age. Okay, so let's move on to the next characteristics that is seriation. As the word itself suggests or resemble to series. So, seriation is putting objects into series. By pre-operational stage, child lacks at this but now one can easily segregate between tallest to shortest or thinnest to widest. The last characteristic of concrete operational is sociocentricity. You will be glad to know that by now child is no more egocentric. One start understanding others pain, need, feelings, behavior and concerns. For example, a 7 to 11 year old child is easily to understand when his mother, uh, his or her mother is sleeping, the child might not let anyone come closer to her and stop others by saying mama is resting. So with this, we end this third stage which is concrete operational stage. And now we are moving on to the last stage that is formal operational stage. So this is the fourth and the last stage. The span of this stage is 12 years of age and lasts till adulthood. So you can say 12 years and beyond. Okay. This stage specifically sees beginning of scientific thinking. I believe most of you belongs to this age group by now, uh, above 12 years of age. So yeah, coming back to its explanation, uh, this stage specifically sees beginning of scientific thinking, means talking more of scientific concepts, developing random thoughts, daydreaming, using strategic mind. Strategic mind means uh, making strategies to win a game or to woo a girl or woo a boy and you know to impress teachers using strategic mind, using strategies to woo others. Okay, deductive reasoning is also a major uh, you know phase of this stage. Deductive reasoning is using mind to solve problems using logic and general principles. Now different characteristics or skills are there of this stage. Let's discuss them one by one. The first one is abstract thought. This one is related with random ideas. You must have heard this term, uh, you know, people using I have made abstract painting or uh, abstract thought has just came into my mind. So what is abstract? Abstract is vague, which is not specific. All right. So during this phase, during uh, this formal operational stage, abstract thought or abstract thinking is very, very prominent. Along with random ideas, thinking out of the box to solve problems, to show creativity or to deal with day-to-day -day life is also the explanation of abstract thought. Next one is problem solving. It's very simple, ability to plan an efficient and logical approach to solve any issues. Last one is hypothetical deductive reasoning. Pay attention to it, you might find it difficult to understand. Okay, so this you might be listening for the first time. Firstly, understand the meaning of hypothesis. Hypothesis is an assumption or rough estimate or rough idea. It's an idea which is not experienced yet. For example, um, 
let's take an hypothesis of you scoring 100% in your exams. Got it? Now come back to hypothetical deductive reasoning. So children by this age start thinking what if? Like what if you meet your favorite celebrity? What will you do? Or what if you lose the match? So with this what if children start formulating various solutions to solve either problems or any situation of their day to day life. At this age, individuals start thinking carefully before they act. Okay, so while explaining this, one thought came in my mind that uh, many of you students, uh, you put your feedback in the comment section that you're looking forward for, uh, you know, the PDFs and PPTs of my slides. It's my humble request. Please sit along with your notebooks and pen, whatever I'm explaining, keep uh, jotting down in your notebook because not every time whatever I'm explaining is there on the slides right so it's better to uh, put down my examples and uh, rest of the explanations if possible whatever point you find it relevant just jot it down all right so with this we end this video here hope you all like this video if you like it then please click on the like icon and uh, subscribe to my channel Share this video with your family, friends and whosoever you may feel like. If you come across any question, any doubt, any topic which is not clear, please put your queries in the comment section below. I will definitely revert. But before leaving, you all have a home task to complete. Now what you have to do? You are supposed to write characteristics of each of these stages. Once you are done, leave thumbs up in the comment section. I'll see you all with my next video. Till then, bye-bye and stay blessed.